worthy. If you love me, Jesus, give me a better jawline. People think it's easy talking on camera to yourself. It's weird, right? It's really cold in my office today. It's so cold and deep. I have to stop being childish at some point. <laughs> but like what? Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a little tech talk with Taylor. <laughs> I don't know what we're calling this, but ooh, I really hurt my nose when I did that, y'all. So give me a second. I told you guys on Instagram that I wanted to talk more about my journey in tech, in web development, data science, all these things with you guys here. I wanted to use this platform to be a little bit more informative. If you read the title, then you know I'm going to be sharing some ways for you guys to learn tech, to learn coding on your own, to be self-taught. I am not a professional. We already know that. If you know me you know that but this is something i started about 10 months ago i just recently got into a boot camp so i'm gonna keep you guys posted on that i want to talk to you guys about how i learned some of the stuff that i've learned places that i've learned it videos that i've watched websites that i visit things like that just giving you guys some resources all in one space Not all of these that i wrote down i've personally used i've only used three out of the five <laughs> but the other two, I've either known someone who's used it or I've just heard really good things about it so I want to suggest it. Even though I haven't personally used it, I want to give you guys the option to, and if you don't, that's fine. I'm just going to walk you through my steps, like the way I did it, and then we'll just go from there. The first place I went to when I wanted to teach myself how to code was Code Academy. I personally really like Code Academy. Now the thing that gets people is it's not free. Okay, so when I started, there was like this 30 day trial and I took advantage of the trial. I literally coded for 30 days straight. I wanted to make sure it was worth paying for. So I just told myself, hey, if I'm gonna do this trial, I have 30 days to figure out if I like this or not. Last time I checked, they didn't have the 30 days free anymore. I think it was seven days. So you'll have to check that out and see. It was $40 a month. I'm not currently using that one anymore, but it's super user friendly and it's very beginner friendly. What I liked about Code Academy is it literally walks you through every little step. So if you are coming into this and you're like, what is coding? What does it mean? What are these languages? Like I'm so lost. Code Academy was a really good place to start. It literally gave you the history on coding. Another thing I like about it is it has like career paths. There's code foundations, computer science, data science, web development. I did both data science and web development. I did not finish data science, but I did start it. <laughs> um, web development has HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. You can look into what you want to do with coding and then make a decision. But I would just say at least check out the free seven days. I think they still have that free seven days on Code Academy just so you can get like the basics. Moving on, the second thing that I did was free Code Camp. Now, this I do like. The thing about Free Code Camp, so I use the YouTube channel of Free Code Camp. They have lectures and crash courses where you can just do like, it'll be like JavaScript in three hours for beginners, no ads. No ads, I think that's crazy. Cause this guy's working really hard, giving us a lot of information. I really feel like he should be monetizing this, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Free Code Camp is a really good place to learn also. One thing I will say about things like this where you have to just sit and watch a three hour video, obviously you can take breaks but it takes a lot of discipline so if you're beginning you might want to do something a little bit more in interactive like i found code academy really interactive because you would do a lesson and then you would apply the code right there so basically on one side of the screen there's the lesson and on the other side of the screen there's like actual coding that you're doing to show your work do you get what i'm saying so it's a little bit more interactive than just sitting there and taking notes now if you have like that brain power to just sit there study and take notes please by all means do this because it's free and you probably are getting the same information if you don't want to pay anything but you want to get the knowledge freecodecamp.org or you can just type in freecodecamp on youtube and all the videos will pop up and you can just kind of pick and choose 
what you want to learn first. Now, I'm currently learning on a website called Solo Learn. I'm going to tell you why I like Solo Learn. One, there is a free option. You can download Solo Learn to your phone and start coding for free immediately. I have the pro account, which is not expensive. Is it snowing? Oh, this is ghetto. I have the pro account, which is I think $6.99 a month. That's not bad considering I was paying $40 for a code academy. I thought this was way cheaper. It's very similar. I think it, I still think, me personally, I still think Code Academy was the most beginner friendly website that I experienced. Solo Learn is great. You do get to code while you're learning. It is a little bit different. What I like about Solo Learn is there are other people learning with you and you can, there's a lot of discussion boards, I guess you would call them, forums. I don't know what people call them, but there's like places on each lesson where everyone who went through the lesson is like commenting and they're like talking about things and they're telling you sharing like shortcuts and things like that i thought that was super helpful and where i am in coding which is like i'm not like at the very beginning i wouldn't even call myself intermediate i would still say i'm in the beginning phase but i'm just i have a basic understanding of what it is and how to do some things I still like to see other people doing it too and I like that Solo Learn allows you to see that. What I really like is you can test out. So for instance, like I said, I did HTML already. So when I switched over, I wanted to complete the lesson here so that it would look like, you know, like I'd already done it because each profile, each place you learn is different and you learn different things is what I'm learning when you go to different platforms. So there was a lot of stuff I learned in Solo Learn that wasn't in my HTML course in, in Code Academy. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention or if I missed it or it really wasn't there, but I learned different things. Oh, guys, come on, try to be informative. I really like Solo Learn for that reason. They have lessons, they have quizzes. It's pretty similar to Code Academy with the quizzes and the coding and things like that. The structure is just a little different, but I would encourage you guys to try this and see how you like it. You can also do this on your phone. So I have it pulled up on my computer too, but like my profile pulls up and then if I wanted to code, it's gonna ask me to pick a language and then I'm gonna say, I don't know, C sharp. And then it will let me code on my phone. So I really think that's cool. I'm a nerd now guys, so I'm intrigued by that, but yeah, so Solo Learn is my current favorite. It's what I'm currently using and learning from. I don't know if you guys have heard of Udemy or not. It's not like coding. It's just courses you can take for literally anything. If you go on Udemy.com and you type in like Spanish, I'm pretty sure there's courses on like Spanish for beginners. Let's just see. Make sure I'm right. Spanish for beginners. Yeah, so it pretty much teaches you anything. It reminds me a lot of lynda.com. The only difference is I think when I was on lynda, I paid a monthly subscription price and everything was free versus Udemy is you just pay for each course. The courses are usually pretty affordable. At least the ones that I've done in the past are really affordable. The one that my husband's currently doing, he's also learning web development. He's a little further than I am, but he's doing the web development bootcamp with Cold Steel. I wrote that down for you guys and I'll link it down below as well. The course I believe is $10. So it's a one-time fee, you pay for it and then you run through the lectures. There's like a bunch of little videos and then he'll tell you to pull like a secondary program up where you can code. So it's like Sublime or Visual Code Studio. You can download that to computer and then you can code as you go while learning. This is a really good way to learn as well. It's just like I said, it takes, it takes discipline because you have to sit down one, I like things that are reoccurring because I know when I get that charge, I'm like, ooh, have I been studying? Cause I'm, I just paid for another month. You know, when it was Code Academy, it kept me on my toes because $40 is a lot of money if you just are blowing it off. You know what I'm saying? So that kept me on my toes. But if you're just a disciplined person, all these are gonna work perfectly for you. I'm just being honest with you guys about what worked for me. Not saying that it's best for you, but just keeping it real, if you pay for something and it's $10, if you're not sure you're interested or not, it can be easy to kind of blow it off. So just keep that in mind, but it is a really good web developing course. He loves it. That is another option. Like I said, I'll link the course that I'm speaking about down below so you guys can click that and check that out. All right, guys, and the last place that I want to tell you guys about, I haven't used this, but I see people talking about it all the time. I watch a few YouTubers that also are like have done coding, are web developers. I've heard this website come up a lot, so I wanted to share it with you guys. It's called Treehouse, and I'm pretty sure it's 
something similar to code academy at least like when i go on the page that's what it looks like they do have this program that's like tech degree i think it's a little more serious you know because it's 200 dollars a month yup 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 the tech degree plan is so ma'am you know dedication but they do have the option they also have more affordable options i think they have something that's like 25 dollars a month i know they have a 50 dollars a month plan so like i said it depends on you know how much you want to spend or how dedicated you feel like you're going to be i know you have to look into it a little bit more i just wanted to give you guys another option just in case you heard me talk about the first four and you're like mm, i don't know i'm not really feeling any of those do check out treehouse as well that's kind of what i've been doing so far a lot of people have been saying like oh, okay i know you just got into this not that long ago how how also google please google things use your resources you can find a lot of information on google i found all of this information through googling and youtube and just resources that were near to me i don't have any mentors or anything like uh, like that right now anyone who is into web development that can like teach me things i'm kind of just like going through walking through this learning on my own so um if you have any ideas of like anything else you want me to talk about aside from updating you guys on my boot camp please let me know because i would love to do more content like this there is a large lack of minority in tech and it's becoming a real issue it's bubbling to the surface people are talking about it there's not a lot of people like me talking about you know computer science web development technology on youtube that i found i found a few but i wanted to kind of like open up this pathway where i can talk more about this with you guys as i learn and as i grow like i said i have a very long way to go i'm just in the beginning but i thought this would be fun for us to kind of walk through this together and learn together and just see where this takes us so yeah i'll end this off saying i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys have a good day bye